What's going on guys? And today I've got, you can see down here, two 2060s that are gonna go onto this rig. I have it up and running on my monitor here. I've all the fans going. Uh, I did move this rig on my PDU over to here onto this bank so that I have the electric to run this. This was pushing 10 amps already. This wouldn't have pushed it over, but I do plan on putting more GPUs on this so it will put it over the 12 amp limit on that bank if i were to do that so i moved this uh, as you see his orange power cord was going to this one so i moved it just to be safe but today i'm going to be getting these two gpus on there and i do have risers from gpurisers.com that i will be using uh, so i'll get them all wired up probably off camera and then show you guys the rig and then we'll get it up and running and i'll overclock it i'll probably remote in to overclock it uh but uh you'll see on here later you'll see me overclock but like i said i'll remote in so i won't be doing it on here and then on this we'll get them opened up here in a second uh, i do have a couple one of these running already so it's not too crazy big a deal but let me get this stuff opened up I'll get this opened up and I'll show you guys the risers, get this opened up and show you guys the cards. Alright, so here they are. I have some splitters that I'll need. Uh, these I actually might not need them for. I might be able to save them because it's just one eight pin. So it looks like I may not need the splitters. Uh, I'm not sure. I may use it to power the riser and gpu on one strand but i have to see how far this splitter will reach but i do have the gpu risers out and they're the same ones it just looks like there's a black core but it's the same ones that are on here they're white with the black and i have some cabling for the power supply since it is a server psu at 2400 watt like i said i do plan on running a lot more on this rig so it is good to have that big of a power supply and i actually do plan on ordering one more of these for another rig but these are the power or the the risers that i'm going to be using it's really the only ones i buy now so it's pretty nice now i'll get the plastic peeled off of these but these are really nice gpus i mean i got these straight from evga so they were brand new in the box uh they had a, a drop going on so ended up picking up two because that's all they would let me buy uh i was hoping to get more but you know with the times we're in with gpus you can only get so many uh but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get the risers put on to these get the plastic peeled off the risers put on get them up onto the rig i'm probably gonna put them back there and there or in the middle they're going to be in the back somewhere so i'll get this rig shut down and then get these gpus on and then we'll i'll show you guys with it on and then once i get it registered into the operating system i'll remote in and then we'll overclock them all right so the rig is off and if we look at my car here you can see that i have the splitter plugged in since it's the one eight pin and I just have it wrapped to the bottom to plug in the PCIe and then I'll plug the other six to eight pin in the here and then into the breaker board to power this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these onto the rig and then get it powered on. All right, so they're all installed and you can kind of see them back there. There's both of them. I do have them zip tie so I'll clip the excess off, but they're in the back. Uh, I do plan on leaving them back there and I will get another GPU in the back back there. I have some stuff on order that will come in, but we I did check and it looks like Afterburner is recognizing my 2060s here. So that's a plus, it's got both of them and I didn't lose any of my overclocks on my 2080s or my 2070 Super. So now since it's all installed, We'll remote desktop in. I'll get the miner going. I'm going to set my 2060 overclocks and undervolts to what my other one is at and then just run it. So I should be getting roughly 31 mega hash a second and about 85 ish to 87 ish watts at the card. 
Uh, right now it's not mining, so I don't have the amp readout. But actually I will just start the miner while I am here. So it's gonna be on Ethereum. We'll get the miner started. I'll see what amps I'm reading out. Uh, right now it's currently 88 Fahrenheit in my crypto mining basement and it looks like it's starting to ramp up. So I see my 2060s in here. I'm going to just leave it as is and then we'll just remote into it. So the fans are on auto and everything's at what it would be right out of the box right now. Obviously, I'm not going to leave it at that. I will bring my curves editor up because we will be messing with that in a little bit. But let's go and I'm going to see what mega hash I'm getting. Right now, my PDU is at 8 amps and my other one's at 11. So I'm pretty much maxed on this one to the most part. But I'm going to, I can always move a rig. I have another PDU in and this one's at 8. So when I add a couple more GPUs, that might go up a little bit. And if I do have a little bit of room, I'll add another rig to it. But it might not be enough to add a full rig but like i said this is a i can get a bunch of cards up here so here we go 43 so it looks like we're doing just good so now i'm just gonna let this sit and we'll remote into it now that it's all put together and mining so let's go ahead and remote into it on the computer all right, we're remoted in now so we're gonna overclock it obviously they're running really hot because i'm running 100 percent tdp so they're pretty much maxing on power at 100 and 118 and 133 so we'll go ahead and i'll put my overclocks in i'll take it off of auto fan and set it to 70 percent and then i believe i was negative 200 on my core with it millivolt locked at 725 and my memory was at plus 1000 so i will apply that and then we'll do the same to the other 2060. take it off auto memory at one thousand and seven to twenty five millivolt lock and then apply now we'll let this run you can see this one's already dropped temp that's pro obviously the one that i've changed then it dropped to 89 watts uh when i get it down because this is the overclock i'm using on my other one once it gets down i'm gonna let this run for a few days this one's already accepted a few shares also so this should climb up to over 30 mega hash so I added 60 to this rig just from them two cards. So I'm gonna let it run just there. Now I'm still at 61C, which is a little higher. So I may have to up my fan speed slightly. This one's at 78 watts. So it looks like this one is taking an overclock a little bit better, even though I haven't gotten any shares yet, but that's not always uncommon. Uh, sometimes I have had them take up to 10 minutes to get a share and then they'll get them more and more rapidly uh, but 61c is a little hotter than i would have liked but we're still dropping a little bit which is good so i'm gonna let it keep dropping and see what happens so three got another share here i'd like to see this gpu so uh pick up a share but if it doesn't i'll just keep an eye on it uh, but this also, the amp readout that I had just shown you, this will also drop it a little bit because we just dropped about 50 watts. So it may have went down an amp. Uh, not a full amp, but on the actual reader. But being under 60 degree Celsius in an 88 degree environment, is, I, I do like that temperature. Granted, these are brand new cars. Now I'm at 32 mega hash, which is actually really good. So with these, I have had driver crashes though. And it'll go back to 100% TDP and run really hot. So I do keep an eye on these rigs. I try and check on them every day just in case. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have an alarm that goes off and it tells me that. But it looks like the temperatures have dropped to, this one's still at 58. I wonder if I drop 
my millivolts slightly more if I will lose mega hash here. So let's try and drop it a little bit and see if we can get a little bit more on the power savings and still retain 32 mega hash. Uh, actually, let's go to set. Let, let's just go right to 700 and see what happens. So I want to see if I can get the power even lower. The goal obviously is lower power, same hash rate. Now I plan on keeping it plus 1000 memory. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with 32 mega hash a second out of them. I have seen people push them up to 34 uh, and vice versa, but I'm pretty happy with 32. So I just want to see if I can get the power down a little bit more. So it looks like my temp came down a little bit, but my power is still kind of hovering around the 87 watts. Now, obviously there's silicon lottery involved. Uh, this one looks like it's taken overclock slightly better than this one, even though it's the same brand that is going to happen sometimes, but there's nothing I can really do about it other than return the car and hope to get a better one. So I'm at 87 watts and 73 watts, but like I said, this one still hasn't accepted a share yet. So I'm gonna keep monitoring it, but that's my overclocks for it. I'm gonna leave it where it is, let it run, monitor it, and go from there. And hopefully, eventually this one will start picking up some shares here and helping these out. Because obviously these are doing good. Looks like this 12080 is just ahead there. But you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, like to see anyone else that's using 2060s, uh, what their overclocks are like, what their hash rates are like, what their um, wattage is like. I know NVIDIA is pretty accurate with what the card is actually pulling. Unfortunately, I don't have a watt meter on my 240 amp PDU or 240 volt PDU. I do plan on getting one where I can actually narrow this down a little bit better. But anyway, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.